Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a box to open. Um, this is an especially exciting one for a couple of reasons. Um, one, it is the brand new Giant Mouse Ace Riv, which just as of when I'm filming this, um, was dropped this morning online. So it was the first day that it became available to purchase. I haven't looked. I assume it's probably sold out as of when I'm filming this, because new Giant Mouse knife drops tend to do that. So. This is exciting because I have it the day that it got dropped to the world. And so thank you so much to Giant Mouse for sending this. Jim specifically, I really appreciate it. This is a cool opportunity to check out a knife and uh, have it just a little bit early compared to if I had purchased it on the drop. I'm also going to make sure this video goes live tonight because I know a lot of people who ordered it today are going to want to see it. <laughs> it's another form of content. So um, this will go live this evening. But I just got back from the post office where I picked this up, and before I dig into this box, um, I want to address something that I think is interesting that I've noticed over the past few days as I've been having conversations with people about this knife, and uh, I'm on the Giant Mouse Facebook group, and I read things over there. I watched the video they did the other day. It was an interview with Jesper Voxnase, which is awesome. I never know whether it's Jesper or Jesper. Anyways, um, with Voxnase the other day. And there's been some conversation about the RIV in a number of categories, but the one I find the most interesting is that Giant Mouse is having this manufactured at Riyadh instead of their Italian factory that they use, right? I think that's an awesome thing. Personally, I'm all for it because just about every single Riyadh manufactured knife that I've ever handled has been incredibly precise and just... Their tolerances are amazing. They are, in my opinion, the best overseas manufacturer at producing a knife. They're just really good. And I own several Riat produced knives right now, most of which from U.S. designers, and I love them. I really, really like them. Now, there are some people who are inherently against China. If that's you, then so be it. But I've had a couple of people... I've seen a few people, I should say mentioned that they're worried about the knife being as good, being made by Riat. And I'll just say this. It is no secret that I, in the past, have had a couple of issues with, a, albeit a small number, but with specific giant mouse knives. They've gotten much better since, and like the new Biblio that I have now that they sent me is perfect. I, that knife is great. I love the way it's dialed, the detent is right, everything is good. But most of the issues I've had with Giant Mouse knives, um, the GM2, the Biblio, have been detent related. The amount of uh, detent pressure, I guess might be the right term, either too soft or too hard. <laughs> it's, it seems to be, from my perspective, that when the knives are made in Italy, Italy has a much wider tolerance for what they'll allow a detent to be at pressure-wise. Um, I think of it like triggers, right? So if a Glock is supposed to have, say, a four-pound trigger pull, if that knife, if that Glock was made by Riat, it would have a four-pound trigger pull. Maybe 3.9, maybe 4.1. That would be their acceptable window. If it was made in Italy, where the other giant mouse knives are made, they might see it as acceptable to have a trigger pull that is anywhere from two and a half pounds to six pounds. That's just what I've observed from the way they set detents, right? So maybe that's not the perfect example, but that's the way my mind sees it. And not only with my experience, but with what I've heard from a lot of friends who've gotten giant mouse knives, if they have been imperfect, it's usually related to that. And so I love the idea of Riyadh making the Riv. Plus, I don't know, for some reason I feel like some people weren't aware of this, but giant mouse has already been making knives with Riyadh. The Ace Sonoma? Riat produced knife. The GM6 <laughs> Riat produced knife. So some of their beloved designs at this point are already being made by Riat. This isn't the first knife to come out of that factory. I think where people are a little torn on it may stem from the fact that it in a lot of ways seems like it's a mini biblio, like a smaller shrunk down biblio. And the biblio is an Italian knife, so the fact that they're making like the mini version of a biblio seems a little weird that's coming from Riat. But even then, I just I, I think it's great that it's going to Riat. And also, I, I've specifically heard them say that it's not meant to be just a mini Biblio. There were design revisions, there's changes, this is a frame lock, that's a liner lock. There's a lot that's different here than the Biblio, so it's not just 
a cloned Biblio shrunk down, you know. Anyways, let's, let's start there, I guess. So as I'm opening this up, I want to say thanks again to Jim and the Giant Mouse crew for sending this to me and getting it to me so quickly. It's really, really cool of them. I was stoked when this was in the mailbox today um, because I've been excited for this knife to come out and uh, the timing is just really, really good. So let's bust in here. All right. Okay. Well, this is not a knife and is unexpected, apparently. Jim sent me a coin as well. That's what I'm assuming is in here. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, heck yeah. Dude, that is awesome. It's a copper Shank Sharpener's Union 2019 coin. Oh, sweet. Very, very cool. Let's see if I can show that. It's a really high shine. I'm probably going to keep it in here. Although... It would also be nice to see it patina. Time will tell. This is really cool. Um, Shank Sharpeners Union is the name of the Facebook group, and that's kind of their, their posse, if you will. Um, and I've been in that Facebook group for a while, I think, dating back to 2019, if I'm not mistaken. So that's cool that I've got the 2019 coin. And I dropped it. Good thing it's in the protective case. Anyways, thanks so much. I appreciate it, Jim. All right, now here is the knife. Of course, my phone's vibrating right now. All right. So we have a, what seems like a typical giant mouse ace box to me. The texture does feel a little different. Let me grab this one actually because I got one right here. So same box, a little bit of a different texture, <laughs> um, but yeah, same construction and all that. And. Uh, you do have a Made in China sticker on it now, as I mentioned, so there's a difference. Oh, that's probably why the box is different. If they're like making the same box, but over there, the material's just slightly different. All right, this knife is tiny. As you can see in here, it is a little guy. Let's get it out. Jim said he was sending the green micarta one, which I'm stoked about, because that's the one I would pick. I think Jim has watched my videos enough and communicated with me enough to know that I'm a sucker for my card up. So this is really cool. It genuinely is a very Biblio-esque knife, obviously, but shrunk down and it's a frame lock. Let's get it out of here. So we've got titanium frame lock, wire, loop over style, deep carry clip. We do still have a crown spine, which feels excellent to me. Green micarta show side. I like the way the lanyard hole is integrated into the backspacer here. I think that looks pretty fresh if you're going to have a lanyard hole to do it that way. And uh, let's see how the detent is. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, that's good. I like that. That works for me. Get past the detent ramp there. It's at least <laughs> as drop shutty as my Biblio is. It's a tiny little guy. Let me get used to that. Very cool. See how it's Spidey Flex? Oh, yeah. And so one thing that's really intriguing to me is I noticed in pictures, as I looked at some kind of side-by-sides with the Biblio, this forward choil looks bigger to me than the one on the Biblio. And so one thing I would edit about the Biblio is actually to make that a little bit bigger. So on here, oh, yes. <laughs> I, I genuinely have the right amount of space to choke up in there. And wow, that feels good. These ergos might actually feel better to me than the Biblio does. Very, very cool. So uh, this one is M390 blade steel, if I'm not crazy. I believe it is. Um, I don't see it stamped on here anywhere. But yeah, I'm 98% certain they did these in M390. And this feels good. Choked back, not using the choil. It's actually still all right. Kind of a three-finger knife in that way. But choked up. Oof. I like that. That feels good. All right, cool. Well, the knife is out of the box. You can see it. It's real. It exists. And uh, I'm excited for this one. This is... I, I've been on a, kind of a smaller knife kick for a while now, where secondary knives have become pretty important to me, because I carry a primary and a secondary almost all the time. So this will be it, it absolutely right there in the like perfect size and weight and carry ratio foreseeably 
for what I prefer out of a secondary. Like even today, the secondary I was carrying was this little spider code dragonfly. Actually, let's keep them both open. And if you look at the two of these knives, we are real close in proportions. Both have a forward choil as well, which makes them very comfortable to use with all four fingers. So yeah, this has this has the right recipe. That jimping is placed just how I like it. Crown spine. It's doing all the giant mouse things right. Sweet. So there is the Riv. I am really excited about this one. There will be a first impressions video um, in the next probably day or two. It might go up in like three days. We'll see. I'll film it in the next day or two. And uh, yeah, ultimately there will be a full review as well once I've carried and used the knife for about a week. Oh, I slipped off like a... <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, there will be a full review once I've carried and used the knife for about a week. I'm excited about that. So it's a good looking knife. It's the brand new Giant Mouse Ace Riv. Thank you again, Giant Mouse. I'll link down below uh, to Giant Mouse on Instagram and to their website and all that. And uh, yeah, this is sweet. So thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next one.